A new accessible streaming platform is aiming to elevate original content created for queer people by queer people. It's called The Bow, and beyond the content, it also offers interactive resources and aims to revolutionize queer storytelling. I spoke with the founder about the platform's recent launch and future goals. The Bow, as in the end of the rainbow, is a symbol that showcases unity. We've designed an ad-driven streaming service with community-based media functions that will revolutionize queer living and create connection on a global scale. If you think of a bow as an object, it has the purpose of bringing things together. And then if you give a bow, uh, it's usually in the form of a celebration. So uh, the symbol of unity, diversity, and celebration are three pillars of the bow platform. It's a uh, inclusive platform uh, it's completely accessible and it's for queer people by queer people. So we've created a platform that has both original content as well as acquired content that's relevant to the queer community. But what's really cool is we also have built a bunch of interactive features into the platform that um, create safe community engagement and learning. At The Bow, we believe that the only cure for homophobia is education, so we plan to do that. We plan to educate. Why do you think it's so important that queer youth have access to content like this, um, especially for queer youth who maybe haven't come out yet? I think representation matters, and if you can see it reflected back to you, you can, you know, identify with it and know that it's possible. For queer youth to see stories about other queer people finding their way, they can maybe relate to it and even learn from, okay, this is how this person did it, whether it was writing a letter um, to come out, maybe that's an easier way. The other thing that I think is really important that we're trying to do, by being accessible right away, we're trying to make sure that this next generation of queer youth that are coming out, that they don't have to live with the biases instilled against them from the previous generation. They can be their true authentic selves right from the beginning. I would have loved to like, you know, go to high school or, you know, be even in university and being able to hold the hand of the person that I loved. I had to pretend to be someone else for most of my life. Imagine if like, you know, going into high school, you were seen and able to see stories reflected back to you and, and know that, hey, your, your queer identity doesn't have to be hidden, it can be celebrated, it can be understood. And yeah, I think by being accessible, we're able to showcase the fact that there's no reason why you have to apologize anymore. You can be you know, your authentic self from the very beginning. Why don't you give me some insight into one of the programs people can see on the platform? So one of our shows is called Animal Place. Uh, it centers around Plume, who is a male peacock who is going into high school. Basically how we start out the premise of this show is that all birds go to bird school, all dogs go to dog school. So all animals live and roam freely yet remain segregated, uh, except everyone in the neighborhood gets the same letter from the government stating that due to budget cuts and the depletion of natural resources, schools will now be streamlined into interspecies programs. So it really mirrors back a lot of what's going on in society today. And we're using issues like uh, the environment, uh, body image issues, gender, sexuality, all of these, but we're using animals and comedy to have a more broader discussion and it's fully family friendly. You recently had a launch party to celebrate. Um, tell me a bit about that and also the kinds of responses you're getting so far. Yeah, so uh, August 24th, we did our big The Bow platform launch party at the historic El Macombo. We had our advisory board members, which include the likes of our diversity and inclusion advisor, Billy Porter, who performed. Um, also um, uh, an amazing uh, queer musician, Nano Telrose, um, as well as like creators and performers of our platform itself, of our shows. We've had an outpouring support from the community, from um, even people in the media space. I think everyone knows that the bow is something that we need. We need a way to be able to connect with our youth and it's very important for us as queer people to open the door for this future generation. And I think what's currently happening in media today is there's a lot of gatekeepers. And what we're trying to do and what we're fighting for is a true seat at the table. 
what are your hopes or like biggest dreams for the future of the Bow platform? I see the Bow as the queer Netflix, to be honest. Yeah. Um, and I think by connecting with the global queer community and with our interactive features, we will literally change how queer people live and exist in the world today. If you go to the bowplatform.ca, uh, you would see our mission. Um, there's an explainer video there. Uh, if you scroll halfway through, it's called The Big Picture. You click on that, you'll see exactly what we're doing. Um, we have six original shows that you'll also see under the bowplatform.ca. Uh, get to know our shows, get to know our advisory board members. We will be launching the full platform in three years time, so we have to still raise all of the capital. We still have to create all of the programs and then also acquire the content. But the goal here is now, we've actually changed the goal. We're going to be launching not just in Canada, but in North America, so in the US as well in three years. Scene 19, take two. I think as time has progressed, we feel like as queer people, we are now put into this box that is like, okay, why do our love stories have to be this like back alley thing? Why can't it be two loving, consensual adults that have like this loving, harmonious relationship? And I think that's really the stories that we want to shift to and start telling. Yes, we're going to show the heartbreak. We're going to show uh, the, the different types of things that queer people face today. But we also want to celebrate the queer experience at large and be able to celebrate our diversity within the space.